Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Would you kindly? Um. So what was I said before? You from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly uh, here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Okay. So that's the core conceit of this game, by the way. The uh, the main thing that we are trying to do. Oh, and here's Lambda HQ. And there's the map, and that's where we are. Um, is that, yeah, uh, humanity, or the last vestiges of humanity after a comet wiped out the entire surface, uh, making it uninhabitable to any life. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Uh, used technology that was mainly in place for piloting, uh, piloting, like, robot helpers. Can you make any sense of it? You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Um, using that technology to make brain scans, copies, digital copies of humans, to then live in a matrix-type world that gets conveniently shot into space because this undersea last vestige of humanity is also a giant railgun that can launch probes into deep space, which is a cool thought. Like, honestly, that's some good sci-fi ass shit. And right for what a lot of before? interesting. That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Which, uh, yeah, is, is ripe ground for uh, science fiction theories, or science fiction stories, uh, and why I fucking love this game and all of the things that it, uh, that it, it wants to posit. So, opinion poll. Yeah, absolutely. Are you excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it, but then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Yeah, I I agree with Raman. Even if it's just a copy of yourself, a copy is better than death. Right? What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. But, like, then again, what else were we going to do, right? <laughs> Live out the last of our days at the bottom of the ocean? Slowly fighting for resources? Probably not a good call. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Uh, that... I think was a little veiled, and I would like you to explain yourself more thoroughly there, Mark. Serang, you have some interesting ideas, and I would love you to explain your philosophy and uh, theory there with us in, in greater detail at some point. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. And that's actually just what the Ark is. Uh, 
ideal arc orbit. So we are going to be... Are we... Are we orbiting? I thought we were being shot out into deep space, but maybe not. Welcome! If you are reading this, you've successfully entered the arc. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with this survey. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest. Uh, spoilers, this survey pops up again at the end of the game. Giving you a chance to reflect on your opinions. And mine really didn't change from start to finish because everything that this game posits is something that I am deeply interested in and a big proponent of long before I sat down and played it. But here are my honest thoughts. And we're going to take basically, not necessarily personality quiz, but a philosophy quiz in the form of a Facebook questionnaire. How would you describe your physical condition? Uh, this is not something I can answer, but how would you feel if you were digitized, basically? I can't say. I'm going to just assume I feel normal. How would you describe your mental condition? Knowing that I am a digital being, I don't think I would feel disconnected. I would feel altered. There would be a change in character no longer being tethered to meat space, I would have to assume. I, I, I don't think I would feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I would feel as if it was a new step in evolution. I don't think I would feel lost, like I don't exist. Like, I believe that my mind is, is the part of me that I recognize. Like, I am still me, even when I'm asleep or dreaming or unconscious or in altered states of mind. Like, I am, I am me regardless of my physical self. How would you describe your senses? Uh... I would think, by very definition of being digitized, uh, you would be lacking in one or more of the natural senses. Uh, or they would be dulled, or they would be altered, they wouldn't be necessarily physically represented exactly one-to-one. -one. I don't think you would feel hypersensitive, I don't think you would feel a lack of senses, I just think that there would be a difference. Would turkey taste like turkey still? I don't know. But I think that you would probably perceive something as being missing, or maybe you just wouldn't be aware of it whatsoever. It might just be normal. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Um, I don't think it's going to be depressing. I don't think it's going to be disconnecting. I don't think I'm going to ever find it as something is wrong. It could just be pleasant. Or if not necessarily pleasant, uninteresting to think about? Like, try not to think about it. Try not to think that this is just all a constructed reality. Be present in the moment. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Um, I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. Uh, you can tattoo that to me. But then again, that brings the question of would I want to carry on if I was glued to a wall with goo and kept alive artificially and in pain? I would like the choice to be able to end my life. I want that, that final freedom myself. But I don't really care if I am just a digitized version of myself I'm not troubled by the fact that I am no longer strictly human. I do not care about humanity as the end-all be-all of my existence. How do you perceive your new existence? It is something completely different from my previous existence and has nothing to do with my previous self is a little disingenuous. It's definitely not a complete do-over because theoretically I, I am a model based off of myself. And I also would ex 
experience it as a direct continuation of my previous self, but I would also be conscious of the fact that there is a, for lack of a better term, base scan version of me that is also continuing on. Uh, a copy, I am the copy. It's the prestige problem, right? It's the teleporter problem. I would like to consider it a new chapter that is distinct, but not uh, disconnected from the previousness. But that's a nuance that this quiz is not offering. Uh, do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Um, yes, just as much as my previous life. This is this is entirely worth living. And I, I would also, while uh, saying that, I, I think actually three is more along the lines of my answer is, if you can just make copies of yourself and shoot out 15 arcs into deep space or whatever, I think you need to redefine what a sense of meaning to live actually is. Like it is then becomes It's probably puts more emphasis on on a hedonistic point of view of, of the world. Like you're not you're not bettering the universe anymore. You're basically just prolonging a uh, simulation that's that's out there. We're we're not gonna really have direct control unless fuck. I have no idea. Like there's it boggles the mind trying to think of. No, it's beyond our uh, beyond our control for uh, uh, fuck. What's what? What am I thinking of? Uh, beyond our control, beyond our sphere of influence. Uh, the word's not coming to me. Beyond our agency. That's what it is. To be able to create meaning outside of ourselves and our perception of the world. So I think that you probably lean further into hedonism and designing a, uh, a good infinity, uh, an afterlife. You are, you are trying to work towards just enjoying the act of existence for existence's sake. Would you rather be removed from this project and accept death? Absolutely not. Fuck death. Fuck death. Ah, uh, tracker fuck. In on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It, it's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Yeah, it's still on Earth. <sighs> It's still exactly where the fuck we are. Did it ever make it to Tau or is it still stuck in Phi? So it made it to the launcher. I don't actually know where in Tau it is, but... Oh, hey, look, I do actually know exactly where it is. There is a mini game associated with that. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do, your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't date the Climber without a power pump. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dumbat's still working. Okay. So we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, 
Look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found his sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I'll be there in a minute, Catherine. I still have some exploring around here, but yeah. Enjoy that whole episode of me rambling. Where did you go? I'm waiting. Of rambling about <laughs> some post-humanism or transhumanism thoughts. We will. We will the get Omni there. Tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. So. Catherine shuts off while she's in the Omni tool, right? Like there was a disconnect from the moment that she ejected herself to me plugging her into a computer. I'm guessing that there's a lack of processing power that allows, so she just kind of goes into a sleep state. Now to read these messages. Uh, Chris, I stayed up all night, it seemed like a waste of sleep. I got the TV in the background, the newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you're able to go on if it's a life worth living. Looks like shit's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shock wave reaches us. Proud of you, boy, dad. See, again, that is such a fucking graceful exit into this embrace of the... Shit. I'm exploring, dude. Please stop wooging out. I don't have to be exploring. I can go back to where I was. Yeah, look, there's nothing here. Damn it. Okay. I am looking for a, or for a particular... Well, I'm looking for a mirror. Because the game, all the mirrors in the game so far have been bashed out. Because I kind of want to take a good look at myself in the mirror after what Catherine had said. But that's not going to happen. So, we're moving on! We got places to be here. Specifically that little submarine. 